Hello children, welcome to your history and geography class. I hope you're doing well at home. You're safe and you're revising well. So let us start with our history and geography class. Okay, you're going to open your book on the page 101. First, you are going to see the national symbols of Mauritius. So remember, we already read about this. The national symbols, so there are four well-known symbols which we associate with our country and these are called the national symbols. Let us see the national symbols. You have the extinct dodo bird, the national flag, okay, the coat of arms and the national flower, Troquetia. Okay, these are your four national symbols of Mauritius. Try to memorize all this. The national symbols are used during important events. The Mauritian flag can be seen during international sports events. The flag is used to represent our country. What about the extinct dodo bird? It has become a brand associated to our island. For example, the dodo is used on clothes, on accessories, and used in various forms as a souvenir of our island. So this is how the dodo bird has become a brand. Okay, uh, it is it is used in various forms as a souvenir of our island. It is used on clothes, on accessories. Let us move on. Return on the page 102. So you have questions here. You are going to read the questions first and you are going to see in details the, the answers. When did Mauritius have its own national flag? Name the colors of the flag, which you already know. Name two places where you can see the national flag. Now, discuss and share what does each color of the flag represent. Discuss and write in the space provided below. Color red, blue, yellow and green, what do they represent? Write one sentence to describe the importance of the national flag. Who wrote the national anthem of Mauritius? And who composed the music for the national anthem? Now we are going to see some... You are going to get some information on the national flag. Okay. Before Independence Day, so you are going to follow here on the screen and you are going to take down notes, very important notes in your copybook. Before Independence Day, Mauritius did not have its own national flag. Instead, the Union Jack, which is the flag of Britain, was flown in the island. So you remember the Union Jack, the, uh, the Britain, the the flag of British. In 1968, when Mauritius got its independence, the Mauritian flag was raised for the first time where? At Champ de Mars. Okay, so when Mauritius got its independence in the year 1968, then the first time the Mauritian flag was raised. At Champ de Mars. The Mauritian flag has four distinct colors which symbolize an important aspect of Mauritius. So each color symbolizes something very important. As patriots, we look up to our flag at all times. The national flag is important as it creates a sense of belonging and citizenship to one's country. 
The national anthem of Mauritius was written by Jean-Georges Prosper. Okay, I hope you already knew about this. The national anthem of Mauritius was written by whom? By Jean-Georges Prosper. And the music for the national anthem was composed by Philippe Gentil. So these are important notes that you need to take, uh, to take down in your copybook. We are going to move on with the uh, four colors of our national flag. The national flag of Mauritius consists of four equal horizontal bands of red, blue, yellow and green. Each color on the flag represents an important aspect of Mauritius. Okay, so now we are going to see uh, each of the color. What do they represent? Okay, now for the color red, uh, according to you. The color red on the flag represents what? So it represents the struggle for freedom and independence. This is about the red color. It represents the struggle for freedom and independence. What about the blue one? The blue color symbolizes the Indian Ocean in the middle of which Mauritius is located. So this is about the blue color symbolizes the Indian Ocean in the middle of which Mauritius is located. The yellow one represents golden sunshine and bright future for the nation. Okay. And finally, the green represents the abandoned vegetation of the island. On uh, abandoned vegetation, okay. So all these words, how each color on the flag represents uh, Mauritius. What important aspect do they represent? Let us move on now. Now in your book on the page 103, you have figure 2. Take a look. You have the coat of arms of Mauritius. Figure 2 shows the coat of arms of Mauritius. The coat of arms of Mauritius distinguishes itself from that of other countries. You can observe that the coat of arms of Mauritius consists of a dodo and some bird deer supporting sugarcane and a shield divided into four sections. These sections are known as quarters. So when you're going to take a look at the figure, the picture of the coat of arms of Mauritius. So you have a dodo, the extinct bird. You have the deer, which is known as a somber. And you have sugarcane fields. You have a shield divided into four quarters. The first one, you have a ship. You have three palm trees. You have a key. And the fourth one is a store. And below what is written? 
Stella Clavis qui marie in DC. So the, uh, this is what uh, it means by the star and key of the Indian Ocean. Okay, you can also see the motto which is Stella Clavis qui marie in DC, which means the star and key of the Indian Ocean. Okay, you have to remember what uh, about the coat of arms, what it consists in the shield. Okay, into how many parts is divided also. So we are going to take a look, a detailed look on the coat of arms of Mauritius. Let's take a look here on the screen. Okay, you have this picture of the coat of arms. We are going to, to, to read some important notes. You are going to note some notes in your copybook. Note down important information. Okay, the coat of arms was designed in uh, 1906. The ship in the first quarter refers to the Europeans traveling to the island. Okay, take a look in the in the figure. You have the ship in the shield. The first quarter you have the ship, which means the Europeans traveling to the island. You have the Portuguese, the Dutch, the French, and finally the English, as you already know. What about the second quarter? Shows free palm trees for the tropical vegetation. Okay, so the free palm trees, they represent uh, tropical vegetation of Mauritius and not only this, they also represent the free dependencies of Mauritius, the Corgados, also known as saint Brando, the Agalic Islands and Rodrigue Island. Okay, the free dependencies of Mauritius. The key symbolizes the strategic importance of the island. Okay, so this is about the, the key which symbolizes the strategic importance of the island. The fourth quarter shows the island as the star of the Indian Ocean. Okay, let us move on. We have the supporters, the extinct dodo and the sambal deer, which symbolize the extinct and the present wildlife. Okay, the two green sugar canes indicate the importance of sugar for the local economy. So you can see the two sugar canes. The motto Stella Clavisque Maris Indici means the store and key of the Indian Ocean and, in, and is based on lower half of the arms. Okay, so it's very important to memorize all this. So you're going to write all this in your copybook. I want to see this in your copybook. What do you understand by the uh, the shield? We have the first quarter, second one. Uh, what do you understand by the motto? Okay. This will be your homework. I have already given you enough notes. And all the answers of found in the notes I've given you. Study the different features of the coat of arms of Mauritius and answer the questions below. The first quarter shows a sailing ship. Can you think why a ship is shown? So we just did about, we just uh, discussed about it. The feature in the second quarter of the coat of arms show that Mauritius is a tropical island. So you know the feature. Name the features on the coat of arms which show that the Dutch came to our island. And why are sugar canes shown on both sides of the coat of arms? 
So what do sugar canes represent for our island? You're going to write down. Uh, you see the questions continue on the page 104. The third and fourth quarter of the cult of arms show a key and a star. What do the key represent and what do the star represent? Which are the features of the cult of arms confirms the above idea? So remember the motto. Okay. Did you know a long time ago knights and nobles had a coat of arms? This was a special symbol that represented their family. The coat of arms was used to differentiate one knight from another. So this is an extra information for you on coat of arms. Now let us move on. Page 105, the national flower. Observe the picture below. It is a national flower of our country. Do you know the name of this flower? It is known as the Trochetia boutoniana, also known as the Boucle d'Oreille. It was declared the national flower on 12th of March 1992 when Mauritius became a republic. So this is a picture of the national flower, the Trochetia. Okay. Discuss and share. Find out more information about the national flower of our country. This is what you're going to do as part of your homework. Share your findings with your friends in class. So as soon as you have found out some information, you're going to note them down in your copybook. And then you will share it with your friends in class when school resumes. Okay, you may search for the following information. The person of the whom the flower is named is this flower found only in Mauritius. What is the color of the flower and in which season does it flower? In the space provided below, write a few sentences. So here you're going to write all or whatever you found out. Now let us take a look here what I have uh, been searching for you, what information you can have on the Trochetia. Okay, the Trochetia boutoniana, also known by its native Creole name, Boucle d'Oreille, is a plant from the Trochetia, an endemic flower to Mauritius. So this flower, you cannot to find this in any other part of the world. It's only here in Mauritius. That's why it is endemic to our country. Okay, so here on the screen you have a very beautiful picture of this uh, endemic flower. Uh, the Trochetia boutoniana was declared the national flower of Mauritius in 1992 and is often illustrated on the stems of Mauritius. It is named after the French botanist Louise Bouton. Okay, so this is after whom the, uh, uh, this national flower has been named after the French botanist Louise Bouton. Okay, you have to remember this. Uh, the Trochetia boutoniana has orangey red flowers. Okay, this is the color of the flower, orangey red. It produces flowers from June to December. Okay, these are so important notes. You will write this down in your copybook. Thank you very much, children, for being attentive. Uh, you, are, you have to do your homework on the page 102, 103, and 104. And do not forget to refer to your red book. You are going to revise, take important notes, and copy like you were used to do. And thank you very much for being attentive. Study well. And see you for our next class. Bye-bye. Take care.